and welcome back. In this video, we will like to, I would like to revisit CURD and map out the client record methods to the CURD acronym. So let's start the tutorial with a code. So as discussed before, CURD stands for create, read, update and delete. And this method methods quite nicely uh, map to the glide record methods. So create me create method maps to the insert method, read maps to the query method, which has an asterisk mark by it. Because technically the query method can be used on really all kind of curd operation, not only read. But it turns out if you want to read a record, we would like to run a query method as well. So moving along to update, we have the update method easy enough to update to update a file and finally delete we have the delete record method so let's take a deeper look on all at these four methods here's on right i have some code uh, to create a, a new incident with a short description as one two three here's a few things that need to happen before we actually create a, or insert a new record so what we need to to go first build a glide record which means passing in the table you want to create the record on okay we need to actually perform that query method that will actually initialize the glide record object to to the pig then we call the new record method this will actually set all the default values associated with the record so there are a few default values like created updated created by updated by deleted this system defined value will be set through that in this case, a new incidence as well as automatically generated CSID for the record as well. And the fourth step is where actually we set the value that we would like to have on the new record. So again, in this example, I am simply setting the short description. However, you could set all all of the fields or just select just a selection of the field that you would like to have on the new record. And then finally, in the fifth step, we actually make the insertion. So we call the insert method. That's important to note that the record isn't actually saved to the database until we call this method. So even through we call a new record method, that object is still in the memory has and has not been saved to the database yet. All right, moving to read. So on the on the bottom, I can, I have some code that queries the incident table and show all priority one incident. Within the loop, we are simply printing the incident number that is incident gr dot number to the screen. So again, for this happen, uh, we have to go through certain steps. So first, we will build a glide record. Second is the optional where we apply the filter condition to the glide record. And this example, we are setting priority uh, to third uh, to it one. The third, we run actual query. In the fourth, we iterate through it to the object or row with the next method and finally in the fifth step is where actually we print or copy the variable or whatever you need to do in order to achieve the read operations next is update here we have some code that uh, that updates all the priority one incidents and set their priority to two so in the step first again we will build a glide record and the second step we add any filter condition which is optional and the third step will query the database and the fourth will iterate through the all the record in the fifth step we actually set the field values so i am setting on line number seven i am setting the priority to two and finally we have the sixth step we can update the method which will actually update the record in the database similar to the insert method the update method the field value are not saved until the update method is called so if we never had an tr dot update on line number eight, the priorities would never be saved to the database, and it remained as it is what we were getting in the first stage only. Finally, we have a delete method. Okay, I have some code which is going to find an incident that is inc001 and delete that record so the first step we are building a glide record in the second step we are creating a query on the same so it's again an optional in the third step on the line number four we are actually querying it out so we will get the record of that incident or uh, we will get the context of that incident then we have gr.next so which will point to that particular record okay which we got 
and in the fifth stage we are deleting the record so with the delete method we can delete this sorry I think um, I I forgot to mention our delete over here but this particular example stands for delete one so thank you and from the next session we will focus more on the scripting side thank you and have a nice day